Dean, a point away at Boreham Wood. What did you make of it? Yeah, um, tricky conditions, very windy. Uh, pitch obviously is excellent here. Um, come here, we played four up front, we played a 4 2 4 system, very brave. And at the start of the game, we sort of caught them off guard because we have been playing 4 3 3 and we had a couple of good chances right at the start of the game. We never took them. I thought Boreham Wood then adapted to that after sort of the 20th minute and got on top of us a little bit and we stayed in the game. Second half, I thought Boreham Wood started a little bit better than us. We never really got going and then we went back to our original. Uh, system which is a 4 3 3 with two eights and we got a foothold in the game and I thought we, we were really good in that period and never managed to score um, and probably a draw is a fair result. Mason Bloomfield's first league start since the end of October what, what do you make of his points today? Yeah really good because uh, Blooms has been ill uh, he's had COVID and that he did really well he was a handful he walked his socks off a little bit naive at times made a couple of great runs in the second half one where he got across the front post there was a great chance he's missed the ball completely good play from Tom Odd on the right hand side down there on the other side that met their lad Mendy um, so yeah we still got to walk on his game Blooms is 24 in age but he's still a little bit immature if you actually look at how many games he's played for his age he's probably realistically a 20 year old in football terms so we're walking with him all the time he's got major attributes he's six foot four um he's big he's strong and he's a solid finisher to be fair to him and he, and he walks on his game he's got great attitude so i was really pleased with his performance he was, he was good today was our, our first uh, clean sheet away from home this season in, in the league and uh that, that must give you confidence uh, going forwards now yeah i always my big philosophy has been all through my career is clean sheets bring you success they win your titles not saying we're going to win the title this year but they bring you success and it just shows you if you look at where Borough and Wood are in the table they've let in 14 goals in 19 games now that's what it takes and they're in both competitions FA competition still so um, I'm a big believer in that but I'm a big believer in defending from the front um, I think that's important as well so um, yeah delighted with the clean sheet always pleasing and uh, we respect the point and you just mentioned it there, we, we did all our chances uh, against a team who, who haven't uh, lost at home in the league this season. Yeah, they had a couple of chances too though, you know, Oxo's made a great save in the first half. Um, I think it's from Marsh actually, or maybe Reese, uh, who's just drifted off from a throw in and it's a brilliant save, left-handed save down to his left-hand side. Um, so we did have our own defending today. What we did do, we defended really well in, in uh, you know, poor weather conditions. Um, and our, our defensive play was really solid, we stood up, I spoke to yesterday about not getting bullied and I didn't think we got bullied today and that's what it takes in this division it's a typical National League game horrible wintry day and uh, our players uh, stood up to it We had our first match today for, for a couple of weeks so how much did you enjoy that personally? Just delighted to be back it's been awful I'll be honest with you it's been awful not playing over Christmas um, and over the festive period it's something that you're just used to in football um, I've been doing football since I'm 17 years of age and uh, for the last 10 years I've been in management and it's been, it's been. I've got to be honest. It has been horrible. Not playing on Stevens's day, not playing on the 28th, and it's probably been the same for Borland Wood and up and down the country. It's just something that's just uh, part of the DNA in uh, in, in, in English football. So uh, hopefully uh, next year we'll play over Christmas. We got less than a week until we host uh, Altrincham, and I'm sure you're already looking forward to that one. Yeah, can't wait. Just delighted to be back. Absolutely delighted. Good side, Altrincham. Well coached team. Very good in possession. Um, you know, good speed, really good wide players, athletic fullbacks, really good expansive sides, really well coached. I don't know how they got on today, I don't know if they were playing to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure how they got on. Um, but there's no easy games in the division, so we'll debrief today. We'll be back in on Tuesday, we'll give the lads tomorrow off because it's Sunday today. And uh, we'll debrief today uh, on Tuesday morning and we'll, we'll focus uh, on altering from then on. And what did you make of our, our supporters there? Over 500 yeah. coming out to uh, to back the lads today. Yeah, the, uh, you know, it was brilliant today. It was great atmosphere in the ground. I know at times the game was a bit dour, it was a bit dull, it was a bit fighty. There wasn't much football played. You know, Borough were a very physical side and we need to make sure we match that, which we did. So, and they clapped us off at the end, which is great. And uh, I just like to wish them all a uh, happy new year. And uh, hopefully we can uh, we can keep kicking on and keep getting clean sheets and win more games of football for them.